It is Farah Abraham yet again showing us that she doesn't believe that her young daughter is perfect just the way that she is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe right now so you don't miss out on a single messy video. Okay, we're back in the wonderful world of Farah yet again. This time she's under fire for an Instagram advertisement that she included her daughter Sophia in. Let me just premise why people are really upset with Farah. We know that she's a very vain person with all the plastic surgeries that she's had on her body and on her face and in the past we've seen a lot of controversial news articles come out about the fact that she allows her daughter to go to school wearing makeup as often as she wants to. We also heard remember that big story that made like mainstream news about how she waxed Sophia's little unibrow and stuff or like plucked it while she was asleep. A lot of controversial things have gone on between Farah and her daughter Sophia in the press and like aside from like the whole vanity aspect of their relationship Farah once left her with her parents while she went away to Florida and she essentially just said that the reason that she left her daughter with her parents and just up and left relocated her life was because her daughter needed her space to do her own little thing mind you Sophia was what like four or five at this time doing her own thing so it's no wonder a lot of people question Farah's parenting choices or just her parenting ability in general when it comes to her daughter Sophia. So this time Farah went on Instagram and posted up an advertisement for that famous skinny tea that all the D-list reality stars have been promoting the hell out of for this past, you know, almost a year, right? Like since the summer or something like that. It was a selfie of her and her daughter Sophia right after Halloween and she captioned it like this. Tea time at Flat Tummy Tea. Sophia Abraham and I after all that candy. It's an open secret that these things are pretty much X-laxes or whatever where you just shit out all your weight and stuff. Obviously, a lot of people are wondering whether or not Farah would actually give that tea to her daughter, Sophia. We've already seen that she's made a lot of weird, questionable parenting choices, including her decision to allow her daughter to have a Snapchat account where in which she gave out her phone number to a bunch of random strangers who could have sent her photos and videos of anything, text messages of anything. So it's no wonder a lot of people are like did you really feed your daughter that or are you just oddly promoting that to your followers many of whom might be young mothers themselves who are sort of naive enough to follow in this advertisement and think hey maybe I should give it to my daughter like a lot of you are gonna be like grace like people are not like that dim-witted or whatever but you'd be surprised the amount of Janelle lovers who hit up my comments and tell me that there's nothing wrong with the way Janelle abuses oh I mean parents her children so I'm just saying there are some people who follow and idolize Farah who might copy this and buy this sort of tea for their child. It was just an awful message in general. It is Farah Abraham yet again showing us that she doesn't believe that her young daughter is perfect just the way that she is. When you wax your daughter's unibrow in the middle of her sleep, when you give her a bunch of makeup at such a young age, and now when you sort of promote the idea of her drinking diet tea, you begin to really give her these warped self images that will trouble her for pretty much the rest of her life unless she seeks therapy so I can totally understand why the internet has been lit up about this and I'm on you guys side it's absolutely disgusting that she would show Sophia in this advertisement and suggest that Sophia was consuming diet tea with her especially quote-unquote after all that Halloween candy children should be brushing their teeth after Halloween candy not drinking fucking diet tea Farah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the latest Farah Abraham, Sophia Abraham controversy in the comments section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also follow me across social media where I do love speaking with you and make sure to like this video, subscribe for more and share it with your friends. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching.